take one last look at her. Probably the most favourite Christmas tree that I've ever had. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Hello my loves, how are we doing? Happy 2nd of January. Um, I just got back from work. I was working like a 24 hour shift. So it was New Year's Eve and then I got straight into work on New Year's Day. So I didn't get to sleep as much as I wanted last night um, at the moment. I feel good though, because I had a coffee, even though by my sentence structure, I'm sensing that I didn't sleep as well as I wanted last night. <laughs> but I'm about to go for my 5K, number two. My second 5k I did one yesterday, I kind of figured out a route that would be a consistent um, five kilometers. I was dreading, like yesterday, the thought of doing another 5k today, I was absolutely dreading it. But I don't feel too bad. I think it's nice that I get to go out in the daytime. Tomorrow, where I'm working really early, that's the day where I'm like, okay, when am I actually gonna run and stuff? Because it might be dark and cold. Um, but yeah, I'm not like, consistently vlogging sorry i'm warming up at the same time <laughs> warming up at the same time i i've not decided to be consistently vlogging every single one run because that along with all my other new year's resolutions of like no processed sugar or sugary snacks no alcohol no cheese or like aggressive lactose <laughs> containing foods um uh, what else? I've got a whole list. Let me know if you want, to, want me to share it. It's like I'm doing a habit tracker and yesterday I managed to tick off all the good habits that I did which I'm really pleased about. Yeah, so if I add on that vlog and film every single run, like it's too much. Like <laughs> I want to do it and I want to share it but I'm not going to put pressure on myself to like vlog everything but I was like okay actually I feel good today and I wasn't expecting that so I kind of want to document that and share that with you guys um, there's also a lot that I'll be doing within this process of running 5k every day now this is road running that's a lot to go from not being a road runner to being a road runner and this heavy volume of road running I wouldn't recommend and there might be days where I use a cross trainer instead I think I said that in my 2023 goals video but also I say that I have a background of like being fairly fit and athletic so it's not as huge a jump as maybe for someone else so if you're watching this and you're like oh maybe I should run 5k a day please assess where you are like maybe it'll start with walking one kilometer a day or maybe you're way beyond me and that wouldn't be a challenge at all I feel good oh and alongside all my running and stuff I'm doing like massage uh, stretching conditioning exercises to try and protect myself and prevent any injury and um, I've also realized I don't have enough like running gear so the kit that I'm wearing right now is a little bit ridiculous like why am I about to wear this t-shirt in this freezing cold weather I need more tops I'll try and go to the shops later on today to just get more like long sleeved stuff because this is just it's just saying hey babes want to be cold it looks so cold outside Anyway, I'm gonna go for a run, and then when I get back, I'm gonna take down this beauty of a Christmas tree. She's so cute. Favorite Christmas tree I've ever had, for real. Anyway, going for a run. BLB. See ya. I'm super sweaty. That was a good run, though. I actually quite enjoyed it, and I didn't feel as horrendous. Um, I tried a slightly different route, but it was faster than I've done in a long while. It's not showing up my 5K time because I ran five and a half K, but in my ear, what it read to me was 28 minutes and like 50 something seconds, um, which is faster than I have done it. And when I look at my splits or when I look at my pace, my average pace was five minutes 47 per kilometer. Yesterday, my average pace was six minutes 23 and I ran 5K, whereas today I ran five and a half K. Um, the day before that, my average pace on the 29th, I went on a run on the 29th, my average pace was 5.54. Before that, on the 26th, on Boxing Day, 6 minutes 16. Before that, 6.17. So, yeah, 5.47 is like the fastest average pace <laughs> I've had in a while. Um, I know it's not like 
groundbreaking. <laughs> but it's just nice because I felt really physically comfortable. I'm excited. I am excited. I do think it's going to get better. I will try and work out a route because there can be some nuances in terms of like when I started the light turned like the green man went off and I had to like jog on the spot for a while so that slowed me down and little things like that um but I, I don't care this doesn't have to be exact I know how I feel I know that I am getting fitter and stronger and the main thing that felt just more comfortable on that run is just my breath and just my comfort with the distance like one kilometer is just not that far anymore <laughs> like if it says it's one kilometer and I and this is after doing what like four or five k's two in a row on day two of the challenge but I started running again um about two weeks ago and kind of did a couple runs a week to like ease myself into this a little it's always I'm so grateful I'm not going to be ungrateful I was just going to sigh and say there's always so much to do but I thank god that there's so much to do there's so much to do my forehead it's looking ripe. Do you know what's funny? I've always wanted a bigger forehead. I remember when I was younger, being like, I wish my forehead was bigger because then hair would look better on me. That was my genuine belief. So when I catch a bigger forehead, I'm like, ooh, you mean like the models? <laughs> I like it. I think big foreheads are very attractive. the lack of sleep and the running just hit me i just had a little 20 minute power nap and even waking up from that i'm like can i make it an eight hour nap but i have stuff to do <laughs> um i've showered i've gotten dressed and i need to go and do a full a food shop and get my meal preps done for the week so i know that if i don't do that things might be difficult but it's so pretty here i just want to lie on the sofa and fall asleep I really do. <laughs> That's the thing, I spend so much time making my environment somewhere that I want to be in. I just want to chill. And so it's somewhere that I want to be and just want to chill. I'm like, no, I've got goals that I need to achieve. Um, but yeah, I, let me just talk you through it. I love it so much more without the Christmas tree. As grateful as I am, I love Christmas and I'm really grateful 
for that tree, but look how much more open and breathable it looks. It's just so much more spacey. And having this just like space, oh, it's gorgeous. The only thing left that's really Christmassy are the flowers in both corners. There's some more Christmas flowers there and the pictures on here. I get some artwork off Etsy and I kind of just put it on display um, to make the TV look like some artwork which actually works really well because a couple of times, well, I say a couple of times, this one time <laughs> I showed my friend like a picture of my flax he was asking and he was like, not to be rude, but do you not have a TV? And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Because <laughs> it's right there, baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh my gosh, I feel like I've got a new flat. I feel so happy. I mean, I haven't mopped the floor fully. So much sap fell from the tree onto the floor that I felt like an absolute fool. I felt so foolish. And I kind of spot cleaned, but I didn't mop the whole floor. So I still need to like do a deep clean for the New Year's, which I still haven't done. And today was supposed to be my like catch up, get your life together, clean, tidy, mop day. But I just feel so and the thought of going to do a food shop right now is like, I don't want to. <laughs> I just want to sit here and sleep. But what would David Goggins do? He'd get up. He'd say, Roger that, get up and get it done. <laughs> um, I'm currently listening to Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. It's like insanely amazing Navy SEAL. And it's actually so inspiring. Like while I was running, I was thinking of his 40% rule when I got tired this morning. I was like, huh, I'm probably only about 40% um, done here. And so I pushed a little harder and it felt good. So yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna do a video, I think, I hope, when I get around to it, when I schedule it, um, about my reading list for the year, because I really do think so many of the books I get so excited about. I'm like, this is amazing. People need to know this stuff. So yeah, I'm really enjoying Can't Hear Me right now. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, when I started it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a bit extreme. It's very like macho man -ly. Um, but I think that's good, actually. I want to read and listen to more stuff that's not from my comfortable spot, that's not from my point of view and my frame of mind. I don't know how far I will go with that. I don't want to be reading anything by, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to go too far with that, but I do think it's important to listen to things that aren't necessarily right up your street. Now, I mean, to be honest, I probably, a lot of my life and beliefs and worldview is probably aligned <laughs> with David Goggins more than I realised when I first started listening. But just in terms of, yeah, after this book, I would say that this book is probably perfectly aligned, let's be honest, with my aspirations, goals and beliefs. Um, but after this book, I really do want to listen to some things that are a little bit more out there. And I say a bit more out there, you know, I won't be going, there are certain people I can think of who I'm like, I will never spend a penny on their line of politics. <laughs> so we'll see how far I push that theory. You know, I want to be open-minded, but I still have beliefs and convictions that I'm not about to control Z on. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's beautiful. All right, how am I supposed to get up and do work? when I have this view. I'm so excited for summer when I can sit on that balcony, have little meals. I've been trying to keep those plants alive. We'll see how well I've done. They were a little bit yellowing, but I've really tried. I need to like paint the decking and stuff. When it gets a bit warmer, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm super excited. Super excited for summer. Instead of exhausting myself, and making this like a long vlog that I then feel too tired to even edit. I'm gonna end it here. This will be a take the Christmas tree down with me vlog. <laughs> and this is the end, cause I just need to sleep. Oh, let me know if you want a flat tour as well. I'd be happy to do a flat tour. Um, since I had the whole skin reaction, by the way, I'm trying to not wear makeup, but my eye has started like crusting over, like it started getting like dry. So I think we're in the home straight. Probably just gonna peel off and I hope I'll have some soft youthful under eyes back. I hope I don't get like permanent scarring or 
hyperpigmentation or anything. I don't really get that to be honest, my scars clear up really well. Every time I was putting on makeup, I was like, I just look really tired because my skin was so crinkly. But hopefully these babies will be back if I can just be patient, not put on makeup on already irritated skin. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, love you so much. Bye.